The Federation Account Allocation Committee shared 1.152 trillion naira to the three tiers of government for February 2024 from a gross total of 2 trillion 326.14 trillion naira. This was revealed in a statement signed by its director, Press and Public Relations, Mohamed Manga, after its February 2024 meeting chaired by the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy. Wale Edu on Thursday. FAC is responsible for reviewing and adopting the allocation of funds to states and the federal government every month. The committee distributes revenue to all 36 states and the 774 local governments in Nigeria. This funding is expected to fuel development and assist government at different levels in fulfilling the responsibilities from the stated amount inclusive of gross statutory revenue value added tax electronic money transfer levy and exchange difference the federal government received 352.40 billion naira the state received 366.95 billion naira and the local government got 267.15 billion naira while the oil producing states received 166.24 billion naira as derivation that's 13 percent of mineral revenue the statement added that 66.45 billion naira was given for the cost of collection 856.93 billion naira was allocated for transfer intervention and refunds and 250 billion naira was saved the document showed the total revenue distribution for the month was drawn from statutory revenue of 101.34 billion naira vat of 428.80 billion naira 15.15 billion naira from EMTL and 607.44 billion naira from exchange difference, bringing the total distributable amount for the month to 1.15275 trillion naira. And meanwhile, the naira maintained a steady appreciation against the United States dollar on Thursday, gaining 18 naira to close at 1,382 naira to the dollar at the official market. This came as the presidency warned currency speculators to desist from unpatriotic acts against the national currency, saying racketeers would have their fingers burnt. The naira gained uh, came a day after the local currency recorded major gains at both the official and parallel foreign exchange markets. It closed at the black market at 1,400 naira to the dollar on Wednesday. The summary of the FX trading auction revealed that naira appreciated by 1.3% following increased dollar supply at the Nigerian autonomous foreign exchange markets, according to data from the FMDQ Securities Exchange Limited. The interday high closed at 1,598 naira to the dollar on thursday stronger than 1620 naira it closed on wednesday also the interday low strengthened to 1300 naira to the dollar on the same day stronger than 1350 naira to the dollar closed on the previous day the dollar supplied by the fx market players increased to 288 dollars 47 cents an increase of two dollars or 7.46 percent from 268.29 million dollars recorded on wednesday from 195.13 million dollars at nothing in recent weeks the naira has gained 500 naira against the dollar from its record low this year at the unofficial market as the CBN beats confidence in the FX market, the Central Bank of Nigeria declared on Wednesday that it has successfully resolved all valid foreign exchange backlogs as pledged by Governor Olayemi Kadosu, addressing inherited claims amounting to $7 billion. Meanwhile, after three days of bearish trading, the Nigerian exchange gained $74 billion naira on Thursday. The equity market had lost 469 billion naira in three days on the back of sell-offs. The all share index climbed by 0.13% to 104.387.47 points. Our market capitalization rose to 59.2 trillion naira, improving the boss year-to-date return to 39.6%. Market activity surged as volume rose by 12.78% to 3 136.82 billion units and the value of transactions appreciated by 35.74 percent 
to 9.29 billion naira, while total deals were up by 6.57 percent to 8,790 a point. The exchange recorded more losers, 29 than gainers, 22. Those stocks like Julie PLC, Transcorp, International Energy Insurance, E Transact, and Guinea Insurance appreciated by. 10 9.96%, 9.66%, 9.65%, and 8.3%, respectively, driven by increased buying interest. And now, the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation says the governments of Nigeria's 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory owe the federal government an outstanding liability of 1.72 trillion naira in budget support facilities. It revealed the figures in a presentation on state budget support facility at the 140th meeting of the National Economic Council, presided over by Vice President Kashim Shetima at the Asurok Villa in Abuja on Thursday. Senior Special Assistant to the Vice President on Media and Communications, Stanley Nkocha, revealed this in a statement he signed on Thursday titled Neck and Doses Takeoff of $617 million um i d i c e program across states in 2021 the Mohamed buhari administration approved a fresh 656 billion naira bridge financing facility for the 36 states the committee's main objective was to develop a feasible and effective roadmap for addressing economic issues affecting nigerians at the national and sub-national levels in a vast a possible economic and socio-political crisis members were given one month to prepare their plans and submit their reports by the second quarter of 2024. The NEC also received a presentation on the Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zones program.